Hey everyone, Clark Meyer from The Rise to Wealth here. I've got a headset on today, so hopefully the audio is much better on this video. So I wanted to cover a new feature I found on Niche, which allows you to see a map view of all the different neighborhoods which are scored based on desirability. So I wanted to show that, which I thought was pretty cool and could help real estate investors, as well as another website that I didn't show in my previous video called Rent Cafe, which can give you a sense of the range of rents for a specific area. So if you can see my screen, I'm on niche. So since I have rental properties in Indianapolis, let's take a peek at Indianapolis. So when I go to Indianapolis, if you go here and then you click on find places to live, what it's gonna do is give you the best places to live in Indianapolis. So you can see Carmel and Fishers are up here. But the most important, I think, in terms of using this to evaluate where to invest in rentals would be to view on map. So when I click here on the left, you can see that it's going to show all the different areas that are graded. So obviously up here is all up an A plus type area. A plus areas are not that great for real estate investors, typically because we're looking for cash flow and we're trying to find properties that aren't an expense, are not as expensive, but have a very high rental yield. So for example, maybe we want to look in this area instead of in the really expensive area. So when I click redo search in this area, you can see we've got a B plus area, B area. So maybe this is an area that we want to explore to um, maybe take a look at, or if we go further east, and I want to restate the area in here. I can see that, you know, obviously when we get into Brownsburg, that's more of an A neighborhood, but maybe there's some opportunities in this area. I personally have some rental properties in this area, so I know that this is a great place to get that low price, high rental yield. Um, if I want to go ahead and close this map, uh, maybe I want to take a look at Birmingham, right? Another area that is really high for. Um, real estate investors looking for uh, cash flow properties. Um, so let's see here, it doesn't look, okay, great. So I go here to find places to live and I go, go again, I go to view on the map. And when I view on the map, maybe I wanna look at specific areas, but again, I can just click here, reduce search and it'll tell me, okay, this is a C plus area, B plus, B, B minus. So I found that this is pretty accurate given what I know about the different areas in Indianapolis. So if I go back to Indianapolis and we'll take a look at Indianapolis. Again, find places to live and then include view on map. So maybe I'm interested in purchasing something on the east side Let's take a quick peek at these areas. So looks like a B minus if I keep on going. Maybe it's an A, a minus if you get to Buck Creek. So maybe there's some opportunities in between these two. Uh, again, just notice this feature on Niche. Hadn't seen it before, so thought I'd make a video about that. The other website I wanted to share with everyone is called Rent Cafe. So when you go to Rent Cafe, if I want to take a peek at Indianapolis. Actually, easier way is just to do to type in rent rental average rent cafe. It'll give you the trends. So let's take a look at that. There we go. So me... There we go, average rent. So this is what we wanna take a look at. So here's the average rent in Indianapolis. And here's really what we wanna take a look at is the, the percentage of renters for a specific dollar amount of rent. So the rentals that I have are in the thousand to nine hundred dollar range. So I'm just in that sort of middle of the road area because you can see almost 50% of renters 
in Indianapolis, Indiana, rent between 700 to 1,000. So if you're collecting above 1,000 or even higher, there's going to be less of a rental pool, less amount of individuals who can actually rent uh, your property. Um, again, if you look at places like Seattle and Portland, um, I think 50% of renters actually spend 2,000 or more. So if I take a look at And I want to take a look at this in San Francisco. So now we're looking at San Francisco. You can see that 93% of everyone in San Francisco spends more than 2000 on rent. Uh, I live here. I know that's the fact. So it's really interesting to just see how in different areas uh, you can get a sense of what the majority of people spend on rent in a certain area. So two new sites and a new a new feature of niche that i thought would be valuable for anyone interested in purchasing investment properties out of state thanks again for watching and if you like this video please uh, like the video and subscribe for more videos